Hi everyone, so today I'm here with the lovely Jackie. Hi Jackie. Hello. And we're here to solve all of Jackie's beauty dilemmas. Now Jackie, could you just tell me what your beauty dilemmas are? Well, I have lots really, but <laughs> um, my eyebrows, they're starting to disappear and I really don't know what to do with my eye makeup because it hasn't changed for years. And what would you, how would you say your eyes have changed over the years in terms of your actual eyes? Well, they've got very wrinkly. What do we call those? Laughter. Laughter. Because you've lived a great so, life. Yes. What is it? I've lived a great life, yeah. <laughs> um, laughter lines and I suppose they're sort of a little bit more closed up than they used to be. Okay. And so what we've done actually um, is we've already put on Jackie's foundation and a lip colour and we've actually tinted Jackie's eyebrows because when Jackie first arrived she's completely right in what she's saying is that the hair had gone so so pale and it's almost nearly uh, disappeared so you couldn't really see it and that's the difference that a brow tint can make because I think a lot of people including yourself are a little bit dubious about whether you should have the tint or not yeah but the difference that it makes is amazing and it lasts for up to uh, four weeks so go to your nearest benefit brow bar for goodness sake and have your brows tinted and waxed but now on to makeup now, even though we've already tinted Jackie's brow, I just want to add a little bit more volume and definition and make them look a little bit more groomed. So I'm going to use Gimme Brow. Have you used this before, Jackie? I haven't, no. Well, this is amazing because it's a fibre gel, so it mimics the appearance of real hair, which makes your brows look thicker and fuller, and it's so easy to use. All you need to do is go away from the hair, just like back combing the hair on your head to make that look more volumised, and then go back with the hair. Couldn't be easier. Your brows are looking amazing, even I'm a bit jealous of them, honestly. Great. <laughs> they look amazing. Right, eyes, because that's what we're here for. Okay. I'm going to use some eyeliner. Uh -huh. And I know that you're a fan of eyeliner anyway, but you always say it's a little bit difficult to apply. Uh -huh. Well, I'm actually not just going to apply any eyeliner, I'm going to apply our Their Real Push Up Liner in blue. It's not a bright blue, it's a really gorgeous colour. So it's just going to make the whites of your eyes look whiter and it's also going to bring out the colour of your eyes. But before I apply that I'm going to use a little bit of eyeshadow, just a neutral colour. This one's called Call cool My Buff and I'm just going to put it all over the eyelids that we've already primed. So close your eyes for me. <laughs> eyeshadow what that's done Jackie is it's just evened out the eye area ready for the eyeliner are you excited I'm very excited <laughs> you should be so the great thing about the their real push-up liner is that it's a gel eyeliner in a pen have you used a gel eyeliner before no well gels amazing because it's really fluid so it doesn't drag onto the eye okay. which is great in the wrinkles in the laughter the laughter line. I told you it's your love the laughter <laughs> Um, and it's got this Aquaflex tip, which is really flexible, so it means that you can get super close and hug the lashes almost, so there's no horrible gap. And you just need to do one click, and if you close your eyes for me, let's turn your head this way a bit, I'm just going to do a really thin line across the top of the lashes. My top tip is not to go as far along as the eye, just finish where the lashes end, and that will just make your eye look more open. liner looks amazing. Not 80s at all, I promise. It's because it's, it's a jewel tone as well, like a royal blue. It looks beautiful. Right, now for some mascara. So what colour mascara do you usually wear? Black. Always black mascara? Always black. Although you can absolutely wear black mascara with this look as well, but I want to show you the brown. And this is our Their Real Brown Mascara. Who wouldn't want to get that out of their makeup bag? Lovely. <laughs> it looks fab, is not it? Indeed. And if you just look at my shoulder here, I'm just going to do the top lashes. And a little tip with their real Jackie is if you turn the wand and go vertical, then you're going to get all those tiny lashes. Your lashes look so thick and long, and I've only done one coat. Do you know what, Jackie? This mascara looks so amazing. I'm actually going to show you right now, which is cheating a little bit, because I want you to see the difference between your lashes. Are you ready? Oh, my goodness. Look at those. Huge difference. 
thing I absolutely love about this is how the blue eyeliner is just making your eyes look even bluer. They look so, so bright. And what I'm gonna do now to finish the eyes is I'm actually gonna put a little bit of a brown eyeshadow, which will just make the eyes look bigger again. So look straight ahead. Feel how I'm going backwards and forwards just into the socket. Your eyes and your brows are looking wowed, but I'm going to just warm the skin up a little bit as well now using a bit of bronzer. Do you use bronzer? I don't. No, I don't you? know what to do with it. Well, I'm going to show you. It couldn't be easier. It's so <laughs> simple. And the hula's matte, so it's got no shimmer, no shine. It's going to give you a really natural, healthy glow rather than being really shiny and glittery. Gracie's English weather. <laughs> exactly. We're all going to look like we've been on holiday. All we're going to do is do a figure of three either side of the face, so like a number three, because that is the high point that you would usually tan. And then it looks really natural. That's your bronzer done, and now for a touch of blush, I'm gonna use Havana, and I know that you were talking to me earlier about it being really difficult to choose a blusher. Yeah. Because there's so many out there, right? Well, this has got four colours in it, so you can't go wrong. <laughs> no, it's got all of them. It's got all of them in there. And you're just gonna mix it, so swirl it up, and then just smile for me, and we're going to pop it on the apples of the cheeks and just blend it up, and it comes with a perfect shape brush. Right, so you are now beautified, Ooh. ready to go out for a, a night on the town. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm going to show you, you ready? Oh, it's lovely. Lovely, Thank isn't you. it? And yeah. close one eye if you can, so you can see that blue as well. Oh, it's really, really nice, nice, isn't it? Yeah. Really different, great. and that's the thing. So all we've done is use that blue liner to enhance the whites of your eyes and the blue, the brown mascara, which is just going to warm up the whole look, a little bit of a dark eyeshadow into the sockets of the eyes, and then the brows key. You're going to be a fan of getting your brows tinted now. I will, yes. Every four weeks. Every four weeks. <laughs> and then we've done the bronzer and a pop of colour, and obviously you've got your lip colour on too. That's lovely. Good. I'm so glad you love it, and it was lovely to meet you. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you soon, and you never know, Jackie, fancy coming again with me? Definitely. <laughs> oh, well, we'll both see you soon then. <laughs> Take Bye. care, guys. Thank you.